Seymour 357 here, and we're going to be trying out the Winchester Super X um, 12 gauge pump. We'll put some bird shot through it, then we'll try some double lock buck. What's up guys, Seabar 357 here, and today we're going to be talking about the Winchester SXP 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it guys. Alright, so today, the Winchester SXP 12 gauge pump shotgun. Um, I picked this up a while back, um, I've put exactly 200 rounds through this shotgun, um, and it has functioned flawlessly it has done absolutely amazing um, it is a winchester shotgun actually manufactured in turkey so it's not made in america i know that'll kind of turn some people off but you know it still has the winchester name and it's seeming to live up to that uh quality that comes with the name so we'll kind of get started about talking about it from the muzzle on back to the stock so starting out you do have a little Brass bead sight on the front. Uh, we have a ribbed synthetic four end um, alloy receiver, uh, cross bolt safety on the bottom. Um, got a synthetic stock back here, um, rubber butt pad, has some uh, sling loops back here on the back of the stock, as well as on the front of the uh, tube. Um, I can't say anything bad about this. Um, this is, seems to be a really, really good quality shotgun. Um, I think I paid like two fifty for it. I think I paid two fifty for it. It may have been three hundred. I, I can't remember right off. It was two fifty or three hundred. I know it wasn't over three hundred. Uh, but this is this has been great. This is probably like one of my favorite shotguns now. Um, and I've actually only got a couple shotguns right now. So um, there was actually a time where I didn't have any shotguns. I really missed them. So I like to use a shotgun for home defense. So this one's great. It's got an 18 inch barrel. Um, I think the entire length of the gun is like, like 37, 38 inches, something like that. It's not, not really long. It's actually the, the Defender model. So I, I would definitely say it was made for more of a home defense shotgun. Um, chambered for two and three quarter inch or three inch shells. Uh, it has a uh, chrome plated bore and bolt, I think. Um, really, really easy for the trigger assembly to come out. There's one pin right here on the side. And you literally pop that pin out and the entire trigger assembly just comes out. Uh, makes it really, really easy for cleaning. Um, it's got some cool little red racing stripes here. I'm sure you can see that. And yeah, I put um, exactly 200 rounds through this. Um, Birdshot, double lock bucks, some Hornady slugs. I've put pretty much everything I could put through this thing. Um, lots of different brands of ammo, Federal, Winchester, uh, Wolf, or Hornady, uh, even like the really, really cheap shotgun shells. I don't even know the name of them at Walmart. They're like 450 for like 25 of them. Random great, no issues at all. No issues ejecting, no issues feeding. It's just been a great little shotgun. Um, I would definitely say, I mean, as long as you don't care that it's made in Turkey, you know, like I said, some people are really turned off by that because Winchester's, you know, it's an American name. So that can kind of turn some people off, but I wouldn't let that turn me off too much if you're looking for a good budget shotgun. Uh, that's going to work. I mean, this thing has, like I said, it's done great. I can't brag on it enough. Um, I really like the finish on it. Um, I'm actually not sure what kind of finish it is. I, it may be parkerized. I'm really not sure. I mean, it's smooth. But it seems very corrosion resistant, so I really like that. Um, the other side, it's got Winchester in red, or the little racing stripe over here. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's your typical 12 gauge pump shotgun, but it runs great. Um, it is a clone of the Winchester 1200, so you know those are those are stood the test of time forever. So. Um, I would definitely say to pick one of these up. If, if you see one and you know, you're like, hey, I wanna try that out, you're not gonna be disappointed, it runs great. Um, other than that, um, I really, really wanna try to get it to 500 rounds and see how it does. Um, like I said, it's done great 
200 rounds, no issues, lots of different ammunition. So I've, I've been happy with it. Um, we're not going to drag this video out too long because, like I said, it is just a your basic 12 gauge pump shotgun. Uh, the slide feels really good on it. Um, and one thing that's really cool about it is when you actually when you pull it up and you actually take a shot, you don't even really have to pull the slide back. It just kind of breaks loose and it comes back on its own. You can shoot this one handed, and when you let off that trigger, the slide just slides back, and you can pump a new one in it. Um, I really like that. The the I, I don't know really what you'd call it. I guess like assisted pump action or something it kind of reminds me of like a self-propelled lawnmower you know what i mean it just it just runs um so especially if you have like you know if in your household if you have someone who's maybe a little older or you know someone who has issues pulling that that slide back then this would be great you know what i'm saying because it like i said it breaks loose comes right back pull another one into it and runs great um you can get aftermarket um you know parts for it, stocks, four ends, um, pretty much anything. As far as I know, um, from the research I've done, uh, everything for a Winchester 1200 pretty much fits this as far as uh, furniture wise. Um, it would be really cool if you get like an extended bag too, but you know, maybe, maybe somebody will make something like that, who knows. But uh, yeah, the Winchester SXP Defender. Um, pick one up guys, you see one, pick it up. They're great little shotguns. Um, even if you was just going to make it like a, you know, a boat gun or a truck gun or what have you, or you just wanted to pick one up to just go out and have fun with at the range. Um, some people don't really have fun with 12 gauge because they're a little uh, recoil sensitive. This one isn't too bad. Uh, I think it weighs six and a half pounds, uh, maybe a little more. So the recoil is not too bad. I mean, you get putting like, you know, three inch shells through it. It, it does kick a little bit. So it kind of take a toll on the shoulder if you're recoil sensitive. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, you know, the Winchester SXP. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the content. Um, I've definitely enjoyed the gun. That's been, that's been so much fun. Like I said, as soon as I get, uh, you know, 500 put through it, I will, uh, I'll check back with you guys, let you know if I've had any more, any, you know, or any issues at all. I haven't had any yet, but if I was to have any issues, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, and like I said, if you like the content, hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Uh, you stay healthy and stay safe.